This is a Lexmark Pro 915 that we're going to be taking apart today. Um, for parts or if you just need parts off of it or if you're trying to rep uh, repair it. So we're just going to get right to it. I will pull the trays out first. This tray comes out just by pulling it out like this here and then just push it in the middle and it slides out. This is the output extension tray. The ADF tray also just pops up and out. Um, if you are trying to get this re replaced, we're going to open it on this side. There's a button actually, sorry. And then push it away like that. That's out. Now, in order to uh, continue with this here, I turn off the printer when this was in the middle, so I just unplugged it then. This is the print head carriage and the game carriage. To remove the print head, we'll just lift it up and pull it out. Close it back down. We're going to remove the screen. It is all by two <clears throat> screws that are Phillips. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove those, and then we're gonna push the um, the control panel up like so. Comes right out. Be very careful not to rip anything here or break. Um, there's a ribbon wire right here that we need to just disconnect, and there's another wire right here, kind of a mini USB one, that we need to disconnect here. So this is where the wi uh, ribbon wire was. And then there's where the USB wire was. So we got the screen out. Um, now we're going to remove this side. That's where the that's where the formatter board is. It's going to be on this right side if you're looking at the printer. To do so, we just need to put it on its side. Um, there's a screw right here that we need to remove, and over here. Let me just make sure it's in the. So it's this one here that we need to remove. Then we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to lift this panel up. Just go over this rubber piece right here and there. So. Lift it up. There we go. So this is where our formatter board is, or the logic board. What we're going to do first is we're going to just, uh, remove this cover here. So there's four screws that have to hold that part. And since we're here, let's remove this screw also. You want to remove all the cores right away to avoid anything going inside the printer like it just did right now. Okay, so this cover is now off. Um, when disconnecting cord, uh, wires, just be very careful not to break any of the connections on the board or on the wire. Now you can see here there's four of the same cords. Most of them are going to be labeled um, on the cord with like a tiny marker. Um, you can see here it's labeled, uh, what is that, E? You can barely see this one, but just make sure you mark it before you move it. E, O, S, and another letter L. So you're gonna, they're already marked, 
I guess that's when they assembled it, they already marked it. And that number is right here. So E is right here. This one is O. Actually, it's a P over there. So you want to make sure you put it in the right place. S and L. So E, P, S, L. I believe that's what it says there. Um, so just continue removing all of these cords. Unless if you're just replacing the top. There's only a few cords for that, which are these here. This one. And that frees up the top portion of the printer. So then you disconnect this here. Here we go. Let's remove this one. This here. And now we're ready to remove the rest of the board. There's going to be one more screw. push this back and then we need to slide it to the right to re release it from this last year and that comes right out I guess, <clears throat> I guess I removed the screw that I was talking about just now so now we have the formatter board removed Right, to remove the hinges, we're going to lift this up. Now there's a latch that we need to move to the right, to the left on this side, and to the right on this side. Lift it up like so. And we can remove these screws right here. Remove these, the wiring right here. Disconnect it from here. I'm not gonna. Here, let me cut this here. Now there's pins over here on this side and the other side. There we go, and that's out. There's another hinge over here. So we need two screws. And then unlatch just unlatch like that. To remove this one, I'm just gonna pull it up. Put the flathead screwdriver in there, and you have that hinge out. There we go, we have the top portion off that includes the scanner unit. Now to remove this one, we just need to remove a screw in the back of the printer. And we'll do that. Here's another thing, the duplexer comes out pretty easy, like so. Now we have these two hinges, one with a spring and the other without. And we're gonna pull them out. And this one holds just the back. It's not even a, it's built in like this here. Um, let's remove the side, the other side. Same concept, you just lift it up and away. Now 
we have some things in here. this portion on latches right here so now we have the printer open this is what it looks like inside with a lot of parts gone already this is where the timing strip is to remove it we're just gonna push it to the right pull the timing strip to the right and Remove it here. Latch this here. The spring, make sure you save it. Here we go. Anyway, there we go. That one is out. So pretty much this is what the printer looks like on the inside. This is the belt drive motor right here. This is the fax board. If you want to continue pulling it out for whatever reason, there's a couple screws there that you can get to um, for the fax board. There's one screw there and there. Um, otherwise, this is pretty much what it looks like on the inside. Um, hopefully, hopefully, we were able to help you with maybe a repair or a part that you needed off of the sprinter. Um, please like this video if we did and have a wonderful day. Thank you.